All right, as I mentioned, I'm gonna make a follow-up video on how to use WeVideo. Here's a tutorial. So we're going to log in with our Google accounts. I'm assuming everyone has that. Um, if you don't have the paid for version, then um, you just get like a really big obnoxious watermark and you're limited with some of the space and, and a lot of the extra features, but you can still use it. All right, so this is the main dashboard. Uh, you might not see what I see, but if this is the first time using it, all this stuff right here will be blank. Um, as you can see on the left side, this is how much of the space I've used and all that. Um, we're going to go to projects at the very top. And I'm going to move this right here. When you press the plus, I'm going to create a new project. Name it Sam Project. Uh, real quick, I pretty much always use the personal one. Uh, collaborative is if you want to have several students working on one project. The issue with that is um, only one project can be open at a time. So really, you're just going to have a few students sharing the same screen unless you have them work on it at different times outside of school. Cool idea, but it takes a lot of collaboration. Uh, and I don't really use the shared uh, option. I'm going to go to personal. Yours might be blank here. Mine is just showing a bunch of images that I've used in the past. I'm just going to not select anything and move forward. I like to start with a clean slate. Done. I'm going to create video from scratch. Again, they have these templates. Again, I'm a blank canvas. Here we go. So first thing I want to highlight is the three different areas here. This top left area is for all your media. Um, like it says, media, your text, audio, songs, things like that. You're going to get it from here. On the top right, that's where you're going to actually see it come together. And on the bottom is your timeline. That's where you put it together. It's like a puzzle. You take the puzzle pieces from this area, bring it down here, and make it how you want it. So the first thing I want to do is record a voiceover. I'm going to go up to the media. You see this button right here, record, uh, narrate. I'm going to press that. You might get something pop up here for the first time you do it, uh, asking if you give permission to a video to use your microphone and camera. Give it permission. Uh, so I'm going to press, and it'll give me a three count. And I'm going to start my voiceover that I hopefully wrote already. Um, and I didn't write it, so let me make some. Upper Saddle River. Uh, here in Upper Saddle River schools, we have three schools. Reynolds Elementary, Boger Elementary, and Cavallini Middle School. And then I'll press stop. Uh, and I'm gonna press a check mark to save it. And I'm gonna hide my webcam again. I don't need that. Depending on your internet speed, since this is all cloud-based, um, it, it might take anywhere from a few seconds to, to half a minute or so. Also, depending how long your voiceover is. All right, so if I scroll down, you might not see it right away. Let me hide this. If I scroll down, I have my video one, video two. That's where your video goes. Audio, you can always add more. But down here is your voiceover. It automatically got recorded down there. And it also got included in my media now. So if I want to double it, I can just click and drag it and bring it back down there. I can edit it over here. I can select it and also move it up to audio one if I want. No big difference. First thing I want to do though is zoom in. I like to be accurate when I edit, so I'm going to press the plus all the way down here and zoom in. Or I could also click and drag this blue circle. And I like this because you can see exactly where you speak based on the waveforms there. This blue line here is called the playhead. Wherever I move it, that's where it starts. If I want to start there, I'm going to move it and press spacebar or press this button here. I'm going to press spacebar. Upper set over first. Uh, here in Upper Saddle. All right, so I know I messed up at the beginning. So there's two ways I can edit this. I can move the playhead there and then press this fancy scissor. And now it split the clip right there. And I can delete this first one. And now it starts like this. Uh, here in Upper Saddle. Uh, I don't like that uh, either. Anyway, let's say I didn't want to do that. The great thing about editing is you could undo several times. I'm going to undo or press control, uh, Command Z on my Apple. And now it's back to normal. There's another way to edit. I selected this and you can tell I selected it because now it's highlighted in orange. When I move the mouse to the left, you see it change to this. Now I just click and drag all the way. Let me try to get rid of that. Um, and now everything before that is gone. I'm going to press space bar. Here in Upper Saddle River Schools, we have three schools. And there we go. We have our voiceover. So I can click and drag this anywhere on my timeline. I'm going to start it. Um, I'm going to leave a few seconds of, of empty space maybe two seconds and start it like this. 
So now when I move the player to the beginning, this is what it looks and sounds like. Two seconds of empty space and then my voiceover. Here in Upper Saddle River Schools, we have three schools. Reynolds Elementary, Boger Elementary. All right, so that's how we have our voiceover. Okay, so we have our voiceover right here and what we want to do now is add pictures. I already downloaded some, but here, here's how I did it. I opened up a new tab. I searched Upper Saddle River Schools, but the big thing is I want the pictures to be large. I, I select the medium because I can find some. Uh, but ideally you want it to be large so it's not pixelated. I saved a few based on my voiceover and went back here. All right, now again, your students hopefully by this time they already wrote a script, uh, wrote their essay, and then they could read their whole essay in parts. And like how I showed you, they could record maybe one or two sentences at a time and click and drag them, drag them together, put it together like a puzzle until it works. Once they have their voiceover, then I would say find the photos and add them. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, my media I want to import. I already downloaded them. So now I'm just going to look through what I got. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to add these three. And now they are in my media bin right over here. So what's really nice and neat about this is it's just click and drag. Um, first one, uh, Reynolds Elementary. I talked about Reynolds Elementary right here. So I'm going to click and drag this right above it. And let me zoom in a bit. All right. It's going to look like this. As soon as this playhead comes here, it'll show the picture. Reynolds Elementary. <laughs> Reynolds with with these two karate gentlemen. So I want to what I'm going to do is actually cut it so that you, I can play this picture a little longer. So right Reynolds Elementary. Right here, I'm going to select my voiceover and I'm going to cut it. So I want to be on this picture a little longer. And same way I edit the voiceover, I can edit a photo. I'm going to select this, and I'm going to bring the mouse to the end and click and drag it there. Because now I want to talk about Boger. I'm going to click and drag from my timeline right over here, and now this is what it's going to look like. We have three schools. Reynolds Elementary, Boger Elementary, and Cavalini Middle School. There was a, a little mistake there. Uh, there we go. Boger Elementary and Cap. I'm gonna cut it here also. I'm gonna leave some room there so I don't speak too quick and so that we can play the pictures a little bit longer. I'm gonna add Cavalini right here. Alright, so lastly, this is how it looks. I've added my three, I've matched it to my audio. Reynolds Elementary. Elementary now that's not the, the best edit, I was a bit quick with some of my voiceover, um, but I wanted to quickly show you how you could import pictures, how you can edit the pictures, um, you could extend them, shorten them, make them however long or short you want, and really match to the audio, um, and then you could also edit the audio. So that's how the editing works for importing audio, voiceover, and photos. Okay, so as a review, we started this new project here. Our three main windows is this right here, our media, our top right, which is our preview, and our bottom, which is our timeline where we put everything together. I showed you how to import or record a voiceover. It went down here and I dragged onto the audio one line. I showed you how to select it, edit, trim it down and stuff. So I just extended this piece so it was one continuous audio. And again, that, that's uh, the great thing about editing this way. If you make a mistake, you can undo it. If I cut this image here and, and delete this part of it, um, and I realize I don't want to do it, I can just undo and bring it back. Good stuff. All right, and then I also showed you how to bring in photos, put it over the appropriate spot in, in the uh, timeline, and make it connect like a puzzle. Over elementary and Cavalini Middle School. All right. So, we all know students, once they, they do this part, they're going to want to explore and do other things. So allow me to show you a little bit of how to import and edit videos. Um, if you record your own video, you can import the same way. Just go up here, 
we could import, we could bring it in from Drive, um, we could bring it in from our actual computer. You can record it right here from your webcam or screen and all that, which is neat. Um, or if you have the premium version of WeVideo, you go to Stock Media, and they give you a plethora of stock video clips. You can tell right up here, this is nine seconds, this is 15 seconds, this is 23 seconds. If I press it, we get a preview from the top right window. And I'll get just like with the, the photos, so you just click and drag it to bring it wherever you want. Now this is obviously really long. So what I can do is I'm gonna bring it up top to the video two line. Now notice what happens when I do that. I'm gonna drag it here, and then it's actually physically covering everything I did before. So what's gonna happen is you'll hear my audio, but you won't be able to see these pictures because this piece is covering it up top. Here in Upper Shadow River Schools, we have three schools. Reynolds Elementary, Booker Elementary. So it's weird. So what I'm gonna do is select this, and I'm gonna trim it right here. I'm gonna delete all the rest, and I'm just gonna extend this video right to there. This is stock footage. I can bring it back down to my video one line. Now that I made room, I'm gonna play here it. Here in Upper Shadow River Schools, we have three schools. Reynolds Elementary, Booker So it Elementary. works well. And again, the way I did that was I went to stock media, I typed in school, something I'm looking for, and they have a plethora of, of stock videos that you can use. These are royalty free, you could use them. Um, you don't have to give any credit and, and it works really well. Just like when you edit photos and videos and, um, and audio, you can edit any video. So I showed you how to trim it. Um, I showed you how to press the trash and you delete it. Uh, and that's how you import videos. So now I've showed you how to import a uh, video and how to trim it down and edit just like you've done with the voiceover and the photos. Uh, so now I wanna show you another little something something. Up here we got something called transitions. So you can see what they do. If I just press it, it shows what it does. That's a simple crossfade. If you want to get all crazy, you could do a cross zoom. Um, so really neat effects. Uh, and there's there's a good amount too. Whoa. Ornamental form. What is this? Paper planes. I'm, I'm mesmerized, as you can see. But I'm, I'm going to go with the basic. Cross zoom. Let's click and drag that. All you do is you drag it between any two pieces of media. You can put it between the pictures video, etc. And this is how it works. I dragged it right in between and now you'll see we have three schools. Reynolds Elementary, Booker Elementary. Okay. You can put it in between this two. Um, let me just zoom in. I forget whether or not we could shorten the transition. You can. If you press it, you can change the duration. I think it's one second the fastest. Oh, I cut it in half. How about that? I'm going to make the transition go even faster half a second. You can make it go slower, fast, you can select the type here. Uh, pretty, pretty useful stuff. Schools. Reynolds Elementary, Booker Elementary. So that's that. Now one thing to note, really, what students will do is they're going to use every single transition you got, um, but you really want to encourage them to just be consistent because it, it just gets very distracting the more transitions they add. So I'm just going to keep that one at the very beginning now that you know how to add that transition. So we got our transition, we got some video and photos, our voiceover. Now let's add some titles. I'm gonna go up here and select text. Your handy little preview, you can select something and see what it looks like when it pops up. Well, how about that? All right, so let me just click and drag one of these a couple different ways. So I can drag it right above. And if I, anything I put above the on the video line, will cover what's below it. So this one you'll see. Here in Upper Shadow River School. You'll see. Schools we have three The title schools. goes right Reynolds there. Reynolds Elementary. Looks weird. Looks weird because there's a lot going on behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag it at the very start. I'm gonna trim this down so it's, it's a little shorter. I'm gonna move everything else over. So now we have a three second title. I'm gonna edit it by double clicking. You uh, can change the colors and everything. Uh, let's, let's, I like that color. Let's, let's go red though. Cool, all right. Uh, 
we could change the size of it. And we should be able to change. Here we go. I'm going to change the words to sample we video tutorial by Mike Padilla. Oh, I don't like that. Extra font here. All right. So I'm going to save changes, and now we have it at the very beginning, like so. Yay! So we added this title, but something's missing. I think it would be better here in upper with some audio. So let me show you how to add that. You guessed it. You go top here to audio. You got some free music, sound effects, and some premium music if you pay for it. So let's check out their premium. Uh, I want something to feel good. Uh, you could press it, and of course. Preview it. Okay, let's go with it. So just like everything else, you click and drag it. I'm gonna bring it down um, here. It doesn't matter that it's in the voiceover line. Uh, it still plays just like normal audio. So I'm gonna play it and you'll notice that as soon as it gets here, it's still gonna be loud. But let's press spacebar and preview this. Here in Upper Saddle River Schools we have Kind of weird, right? Because it's still loud. So the way you edit the volume, if I just press here, you'll notice a white dot form. That white dot uh, on the blue line is the volume. The blue line is your volume. It says 100%, so it's at max volume. So what I'm going to do is move this over here. I'm going to press another blue uh, uh, white dot there. I can move these wherever I want. And I'm going to basically tell the computer at this point, it's going to be 100%. By the time it gets down to here, it's going to be all the way down to 36%. And now it'll fade down. And let me show you what it sounds like. Here in Upper Saddle River Schools, we have three schools. So now you can hear it better. You can still hear the music in the background. In fact, I'm going to lower a little bit more. Um, and that's how that works. I dragged in the audio from here, brought it down to voiceover line. We could add different there. I could uh, hide that. I could change this. And play. Here in upper shadow. So that's how you raise and lower volume. Um, I'm going to scroll to the end of this over here. I'm going to zoom in again. Keep in mind, this thing zooms in wherever the blue playhead is. So I noticed how I moved it to the end, and now I'm zooming in here. Um, so now I want to add another dot there and here, and I'm going to raise it again. So at the very end of it, it's going to fade up like so. And then I'll press it. And I just realized I have to edit all the way back here. So I'm going to trim all this right here. I'm going to modify this so it goes all the way here and all the way here. So now it sounds like this. Oh, it works so well with that little saxophone or whatever it was. Shorten this. I'm actually going to cut this right there. And delete it so now it ends like that and if i want to fade it out actually same thing i'm going to press up here make a white dot and drag this out so now it fades out hey how about that that's how you add audio all right so i showed you all the basics of editing or at least most of what i could fit in this time so i'm just going to add a couple things and finish it up there's one other thing we didn't go over up top here which is backgrounds Again, students will likely find this and have a ball with it. That's cool, you know, whatever. You have so, um, solid backgrounds. Oh, these ones move, which is cool. But you also have solids, um, which is a solid background. Uh, overlays, which you could put over things, like if I wanna put lips on top of any section. Um, I, I mean, whatever. Um, pretty cool, cool options though. And you got frames, uh, which can, can frame things out. But we're just going to do a background. I like this little moving one. So you'll notice, again, this is way too long to put here. So what I'm going to do is actually drag it in. Does it automatically add? It doesn't automatically add. I'm going to add a video line. So now we have a third row of video. I'm going to drag it up here because it's just way too long. I'm going to cut it. And now that it's short enough, I can click and drag it underneath this and just make sure it's long enough. So now we have this cool, fancy moving background. 
over our title. Here in Upper Saddle River Schools, we have the music fades out. I'm going to add a transition in between there too. Just a really simple little crossfade. Simple little crossfade. I'm going to fade this out too. Um, I wish I picked a different title. Here in Upper Saddle River Schools, it'll it'll play smoother once it's all exported. Um, speaking of export, let's do that now. So let's say I am done with my project. I just go up top to finish. Sample we video. Oreo. Set. And you got some options here. With Pro, you can make it uh, HD, fancy. Um, you can save it directly to your drive. Let me close this. Uh, by default, I want to make sure you all are aware Everything is open to the public. If you want to change it, just click that, and now it's private to you, and I believe anyone you share the link with. Um, so, you know, if, if your students are doing this, I definitely suggest they, they select that privacy option. And then you just press export, and then you're done. Uh, what's gonna happen is it'll do this, depending how long the video is, it, it takes a few minutes or so. Um, you'll get a link to the link on we video, and it'll also go to your drive. So the students can either share it from their drive, or share the direct link. And that's that, folks.